Ladies and gents, I'll take it. Give me a CD. I can have your attention, please. Will everybody be set? Please rise. At the same time, let's grab your tablecloth that little, we got it. Just hang on one second. At the same time, let's grab your tablecloth, that little white one that's on your plate. See what I want to step up? There we go. So let's bring it up in the sky, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome the parents.
normal role of emceeing the suspicious event. But by the time you are done, and I have no doubt that you will agree, and as evidenced by our Rangi TV recent performance, the reserve is going to make this game. Right, the couple and the, the, the parties at the main table, welcome everyone and thank you for being here. A few house rules and uh, COVID quirks. You've all been gifted a personalized, uh, a personal sanitizer, please use it often. The wearing of masks is obviously encouraged, it's good for keeping COVID and junk and spit at bay. So be sensible in this regard and, and take responsibility. Then please, very importantly, especially with a couple of the, the older folk around, you would have noticed some speakers that say no hugs, please. Be respectful of those and, you know, high five to normal shoulders, cereal, squid, whatever it is, just so hugs for them. Kisses says nothing about, I'm just saying. Right. The bathrooms are situated at the back and either side, obviously no smoking inside. Smoking area to the right, where, the way I'm facing. And then the famous. You're not great, I mean Greek. Play some on Frisbees. Right, throw them straight down and only on the dark tiles there. Not on the softer parts in front of you, only on the, the dark tiles and burning of anything. Sanitizing is flammable, I'm just saying. Only on the dark tiles. And then from the bridal couple, if you have children, please make sure they don't run on the dance floor. Give them a couple of years and they'll see how far they get with that. Then, all the Lebanese here, raise your hands. All of you. That is right. They've asked me to translate the rules for you. Players, <laughs> don't catch COVID. Move the tiny holidays around the corner. The shash is there. Keep the shisha outside. Shook the Greeks. The Zappanis burn their swords. <laughs> Lastly, make sure the birds keep the lights off the dance floor. Right, gonna go up with if not. <laughs> anyway, anyway, most important, most important. Anyone calls us Karaya and I thought Anna's gonna observe you. <laughs> right. They all said no, welcome the parents of the grass, pick up your napkins, yada yada yada. All that done, tap a comment, we can actually erase this and we're gonna cut the cake and eat it first. Yeah, all done. Auntie Diane, if you would kindly uh, say grace to us and then start to all be served. Between a brother and a sister. The bond is unusually the strength in 
and then she dumped him. But he walked to London and left him with me the no less than eight hours a day, five days a week. A full-time babysitting dog. dog. <laughs> and one that I couldn't be happier for. Ladies and gentlemen, and maybe for the first time ever in wedding history, a speech from the brother of the bride. <laughs> Beautiful young relations grow. 
I looked back to when I was maturing and reminisced. I had a special relationship with a cousin. He was my moral Southern Cross. He imparted knowledge. He made sure I chose the sensible path. Michaela too has a similar relationship with a special cousin of hers, Mary, her maid of honor. If Michaela said one more, Mary replied, bottle. <laughs> if Michaela says no, she would reply, ways to obey one now. If Michaela is havoc, Mary is man. Mary, come up. The microphone's all yours. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Mary, Michaela's maid of honor. But my most important role is that of being her cousin and best friend for over 25 years. Michaela, I think we can all agree that you are looking absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it has been an honor to stand by your side through this journey, and I cannot wait to see what lies ahead in your and Stephen's future. Growing up, I always wanted to be like my older cousin. I always wanted to do the things she did, have the things she had, dress the way she dressed, and I always wanted to tag along wherever she went. While some may think this is a bad thing, I have always felt it to be good. I had an excellent role model to look up to, and this could only work in my favor. She taught me how to care, how to share, how to reach for the stars, and most importantly, how to love with all of your heart. Growing up, I wanted to be just as beautiful, caring, and as smart as you. It's a great happiness to find someone who loves you as much as Sefa loves my cousin. The good and the bad, Sefa. Tonight, I want to thank both of you for being a part of my life and to celebrate the love you both share. Mikhail and I, have grown up together and have been inseparable since the very beginning. This unfortunately makes this speech extremely difficult to write, as it's quite impossible to sum up even just a few of our best memories together in a few short minutes. So instead I thought it would be a great idea to recall some memories that would be fitting for the occasion. Michaela and I have always been quite mature for our age. And so from the very tender age of 11 and 14, we were out on the prowl for the ideal man. <laughs> we of course wanted to do this as accurately as possible, and so like all great ideas begin, we started to write a list. A list of requirements the ideal man would need. And while I don't remember each and every one of them, there are two that I will never forget. Number one, the ideal man must be Greek. <laughs> and number two, the ideal man must have a six pack. when attempting to find our husbands. I look back now and understand why, at the very tender age of 11 and 14, we were not ready for marriage. <laughs> Michael and Sarah's relationship started off very uniquely. It was sort of like a girl meets boy moment, except the boy wouldn't give the girl the time of day. And so, the girl would come home crying every day after the university lectures. The boy would also go on to invite the girl and her cousin to his 21st birthday and again not pay much attention to her. But what truly added to this very unique love story 
is that there was also a time where the girl dragged her cousin, aunt, and mom to a mall to stalk the boy. <laughs>
Before he could replace it, so I took hold of it, as I was obviously curious as to what young Stefan had achieved that warranted a trophy being included in a shrine. Some of you may know I've got quite a good memory and some have even said photographic, so luckily I can quote it from Basin. <laughs> Stefan Ross, Robertson Cannes, quite impressed, not very well known team, only the best makers. Under 10B. <laughs> and wait for it, participate. <laughs> There's absolutely no doubt that Steph has uh, chosen Carsten as the better man, or at least the best man. Carsten, where are you? Thank you. Come up here. No pressure at all. Thank you very much for giving this visit. 
indeed. Um, so just about some of the hard edit at times. He may tell the difference, but he might sell higher. Who knows? Uh, but thank you very much. And with the rest of the four minutes, you know how long it takes me to tell the story. Why would you have to do four minutes? <laughs> Let me start with first of all the beautiful bride. Next, my lovely mother. First of all, you look incredible. It's been quite rough, starting from the fact that you would not use Stephen in my bathroom in the Lady Joburg and I asked you to live with me and him in the same apartments during COVID. It might have been a challenge. Uh, to be completely honest, I would say you deserve an award for teaming with this with us. Uh, all we did was constantly use quotes and jokes from Seth Brothers. So hopefully that made it a bit better and easier to handle. I don't know. Um, but we never know. We never know. Uh, you have seen Steph and myself at our lowest. You have been there for him through thick and thin. And I cannot thank you enough for everything you do. The biggest thank you I can say is thank you for making my brother happy. In ways in which I would never imagine to do, or, uh, but you make him happier than I've ever seen him. You're most definitely the perfect person for Seth, and I have seen how good you are with each other. Some of the things I've seen, some of them against COVID guidelines, are the most beautiful things I've seen, but also traumatizing at the same time. For those of you who don't know, Seth and Mikhail have a tendency to decide to lick each other in front of me, on their faces, and stare me in the eyes. <laughs> this is quite a challenging time, especially when I was quarantined to my room, while we get up. For reference, this room is about 12 square meters. And given a bottle of metal, and a roll of paper towel, and said, if you come out, wear a mask and wipe everything down. <laughs> It was great for the first few days. I didn't have to move, clean, or cook. But it was a bit of a challenge. But I wouldn't have it anywhere in the world. You two are perfect for each other, and thank you. Steph, Kevin. What I want to say, what, what I, I've tried to ask you a million times, but what I can say is not some opportunity. From being my son when we were growing up, to people thinking that you are the younger brother now, <laughs> times have really changed. I'm hoping that these teenage genes don't kick in so people don't realize you're older than you. <laughs> for those who don't know, Seth and I have a four year age gap between us, but for about, until the age I was about 14, people thought we were twins. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it holds based on the fact that Seth didn't really eat and pond the ball onto my plate. <laughs> But, there's nothing we can do about that now. <laughs> Seth, you are all wrong with me, and I can't thank you enough for everything you do to me. for me.
I will give advice about your marriage, but I do not think I need to say anything. The only thing I would say is that they are always right, and what I mean by that is means Steph is always right. <laughs> I love you both, and just remember Steph, all the good things I said, was because of nonsense. <laughs> Please can I give a warm welcome to the mother or my mother, mother of the groom and the groom for their mother daughter dance. Mother son dance. Okay, okay. We'll 
good. Who's up for a little game? Right, the name of the game is Guess Who I Am. Be with me for one second. One second.
your unrelenting perseverance in organizing the bachelorette and the kitchen team. And another thing, a huge thank you must go to all of Michaela's beautiful bridesmaids. Let's give them all a hand. Thank you. And the dashing groomsmen on that side. For making the lead up to the wedding a very special time for both Michaela and Steph. Um, a huge thank you must also go to our new in laws, Gilbert and Michelle. From the day we started to organize the wedding, both Gerald and Michelle have supported and contributed in every single way possible towards this wedding. Nothing has been too much for them. So, and often we would hear Michelle, when we were discussing a few things, she would always say, just do it. So now she's the Nike mother-in-law. <laughs> My final thank you is to all of you. Despite the rampant fourth wave and the inherent dangers that go with it, you've all chosen to be here tonight to celebrate the wedding of my children. Thank you. Now for the fun part, I get to talk a little bit about Steph and Michaela. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of poetic license when I talk about Stephen Mikela's introduction, so please bear with me. Um, about 10 years ago, I got a call from Michelle to invite us to her brother Lionel's 50th. Now, Lionel and myself had been best friends at university, and he subsequently moved to the USA with his beautiful wife, Nadia. They were coming to South Africa for his 50th, and my family was invited to the party. Michaela and Steph saw each other for the first time at this party, and it was love at first sight. Okay, fast forward now, a couple of months, and Michaela says to George and myself, listen, you guys need to take me to Monty, I need to see the boy. <laughs> so we say, okay, Michaela, we'll take you to Monty. So we go to Monty, and we're sitting and having a meal at uh, one of the restaurants there, um, and while we were having dinner, Michaela arrived with Steph and she wanted to do the official introductions to this boy that she was now talking to on social media. <laughs> anyway, the young Steph arrived. He could hardly stand on his two feet. He was going forward, backwards, sideways, and obviously the beer from the beer fest that Monty had got at the middle. So that was our first impression of Steph. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Wasn't a perfect intro introduction, but things got much better from then. <laughs> anyway, Steph and Michaela continued to see each other, and Steph definitely stole the heart of all of our family. He has fit into our family perfectly, and has been accepted as one of us by everyone in the family despite the fact that he's in <laughs> Anyway, every man wants her daughter to marry the perfect man. And I knew we had struck gold. I'm going to tell you a, small little, a short little story. About a couple of years ago, um, yeah, Michaela had just moved to London. Things were tough. She was missing her family, missing her friends. Weather was crappy as, as it is there. And we were having a FaceTime call. And she was having a, like a like mini meltdown. Tears and everything. And I'm talking to her. I'm trying to say to me, can I go, it's fine. It's, it's good for you. It's, you know, trying to be the father. And behind her, I could see a hand just stroking her, the back of her head. And just stroking her, I couldn't see who it was, but I obviously knew it was Steph. <laughs> but when I saw that, then I knew that Steph was the perfect person to make Michaela happy for the rest of her life. Anyway, then Steph asked me, well, he asked me if he could have Michaela's hand in marriage. I remember saying one thing to him, and I'm sure you will vouch for that. I said to him, you can marry Michaela on one condition. 
You must love Bikela just as much as Georgia and I love her. Then it will be fine. And I I'm sure he does do. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Right, now to my beautiful baby girl. What can I say about her? As usual, you look absolutely spectacular tonight. Sitting next to that gorgeous group of yours. <laughs> I could stand here all night and talk about Michaela, but I'm certain. Yeah, firstly, she'll get annoyed with me, but she told me not to do that. And secondly, everyone who knows Michaela knows what she's all about. She's a special soul and tries to be that special soul to everybody that she knows. Um, Michaela, from the day you were born, your mother and I knew that we were blessed. You have brought nothing but joy and happiness to your family and a lot of discipline. Thank you for that. You've been an amazing daughter to us, granddaughter to your Yaya and Baku, and a wonderful sister to your brother Nico, and a sister-in-law to your sister-in-law Effie. And of course now an auntie to our beautiful grandchild Amalia. I'm just a little sad tonight that my parents never got to see what a special woman you have become. And they are not here tonight to see how beautiful you look. Anyway, a lot of credit must, of the way you turned out must go to my gorgeous wife, Georgia, your mother. Nico, Effie, Amalia, you and I were blessed that we got a mother, grandmother, mother-in-law, and wife that we did. George, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for always putting everyone before yourself and always being the stability in our family, always making sacrifices for all of us. You and Michaela are as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside. Thank you. Right, a final word to the couple. Michaela, always love and respect and stand by Steph, no matter how, how hard and tough times yet. And Steph, for you it's very easy. <laughs> Just continue to love and treat Michaela the way you do and don't forget to spoil her all the time. <laughs> um, okay, I'm almost done. Uh, I just have a final compliment to both Steph and Michaela for the mature way that they've handled this wedding tonight which has been in planning for the past two years and the whole planning, organizing has been basically they've pushed it to the limits but they've both got through it despite their A-type personalities and we've managed to get this wedding here tonight so thank you, well done guys. Right, in conclusion, I want to thank each and every one of you here tonight for being with us to celebrate Steph and Michaela's special day. I really, and I'm sure Steph and Michaela and Georgia, Michelle and Ewald, would really like you all to have a really good time. It's been a really challenging two years for everybody, so let your head down and let's bring the house down tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny, for those heartfelt words. Um, if you can now uh, take your places on what I've just seen is the Marks and Spencer sponsored dance floor. <laughs> clearly, clearly have an impact there in London.
if uh, Gavin and Ina waved those napkins uh, on that filly in the seat this afternoon, he would have shat in. But, uh, thank you guys, that was absolutely stunning. Before we enjoy um, maids now, which would have been dessert, um, there have obviously been a lot of people that can't be here uh, regrettably today and expectedly there have been a lot of messages that have been sent through and I was told to say it's because of time constraints but we're running, wait for it, one and a half hours early yeah. so because of uh, time constraints, we read that as boredom the couple are going to read those messages privately and uh, save us all from that Fantastic. <laughs> Guys, I'm not too sure when maids will be served. We are very early, which is the first ever. So relax, enjoy, don't forget the coffee club. Hit it hard, make, them, make it hurt. And yeah, as soon as maids are done, we're going to proceed with what we've all been waiting for. And yeah, from this to step up last. Perfect, good. So well behaved up to now. Stefan, Gilbert, Michelle, everyone back to your tables. Let's do this. Johnny. Sorry, Auntie Michelle. Okay, here we go. Ready for you, sir? It's 
Mr. Jude, live longer off script in the Philippines. Once upon a time, Michaela was concerned that she may have been pregnant from Stefan holding her hand. But yes, it's, it's part of the beauty. Such innocence has grown and developed, and I'm not back on script, that worked quite well. It's, it's as clear as dim that there is so much love between the two of you. Michaela, your little taught me one very poignant yet ironic lesson. My brother reminded me of this on Jenna and my wedding day. And his motto, ironically, was always have fun. Guys, live by that rule. Don't make the insignificant into the contentious. Make sure you guys are always having fun and marriage will be a breeze. Now, before we get into the opening dance and the fun of a massive party, I want to make something very clear. Not to sound arrogant, but I'm often, I'm often complimented of the pace that I've moved in life and the firm that I've built. Two of the people here have done phenomenally well. My young candidate attorney, George, is here tonight. First time. Yeah. achievement. Nick's employed by me. We do pretty well. And the motto that we sort of adopt in our business and which keeps us going is no matter what we do, we must never regret regress. We must always be going forward and improving. So the last time I was at this venue, which was my brother and Jolene's wedding, I left her no pants on. <laughs> so let's not take anything backwards. Let's progress. Let's hear from Steph, and then let's enjoy firstly the opening dance, and then a massive party. <laughs> Sas Afkaristo, who take it after 
τον πρώτο ξένο συντρόφο των εγγονών σα στην εγγονία. Μπορεί να μην μπορείτε να προφετρέτε σωστά το ονόμα μου, καθώ δεν ταιριάζει με τα ανομάτα που είναι γνώστα σαν Γιώργος Κώστας Ιστέφανος. <Κι> Εσείς είσαστε καταπληκτοί και με αγαπήσαστε ανέβ αρών. Η Μικέλα και εγώ είμαστε παν ευχαριστημινοί που μπορείτε να είσαστε μαζί μας σήμερα στην ιδιαίτερα μέρα μας. To my new parents, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, these are Kapaso, Pafos, and Nukasia have trivia done themselves. <laughs> Thank you for your unconditional love. I'm still unsure how you let me stick around after first meeting me intoxicated at Monty's beer fest. <laughs> you have been the most amazing parents to us. We love you both so much, and I promise to look after her for the rest of her life. To my parents, you finally gained a daughter. Mom, you now have someone that you can enjoy hair and nail dates and buy few clothes for. You know we never say no to free stuff. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Like our other parents, you both move heaven and earth for us and have supported us in everything. We can't wait to have you all in our London home as a married couple. And finally, to my wife, Mikel. As cliche as it sounds, I now understand why Green say, isn't she just looking spectacular? Yeah. I'm not sure about anything else, but in my eyes, you look like the most beautiful woman in the world. As has been mentioned before, Michaela and I first met during the World Cup. Her father and my uncle were very good friends. I know what you're all thinking, and no, this isn't an arranged marriage. <laughs> I managed to catch her all by myself, and she's here by toots. <laughs> From our tower days, through the Nikki Beach era, and right up to the Mokea Bridge in Amsterdam, I've always known that I want to spend my life with you. You've supported me in everything, especially my wanderlust. You put up with two years of long distance while I lived in Cape Town, and you dropped everything and followed me to London, where we started our new lives. You're the kindest, most amazing person in the world, and you have the biggest heart. They say outside beauty fades, but the inner beauty and good deeds of the soul are for eternity. If that is the case, then I'll get the jackpot. My cousins have always said that I'm punching well above my weight. <laughs> and looking at you tonight, I have to admit that they are right. <laughs> now that you're married, there's no turning back. And you've got shoes lying all over the house, wet bathroom floors and unmade beds to look forward to for the rest of your life. <laughs> I can't wait to see the world with you and find out what our futures have in store for us. I love you. Oh my love, thank you. Absolutely beautiful, guys. And before I take the last call, just three things from me. Once again, it's proven to myself, MC never gets thanked. Absolutely no honor at all. Number two. Number two, I'm not too sure who translated that Greek for you, but Grand, I'll tap that. Not really appropriate. And lastly from me, Johnny, I hope you took out the comprehensive insurance. Ian, bring that chair.
The console is officially open, let's have some fun. When marimba rhythm start to play, dance with me. Dancers may be on the 
So let's get the bride in the center of the dance floor. Let's get all the strong boys around her. Let's do the Zomba to the song. If your feet are 